object that I find precious is my pocket watch. And I'll explain its story. At the end of term, the college allowed the students with good attendance to go to a Comic Con convention. I decided to participate since my attendance was near 100%. They accepted the offer and I was allowed to come on a trip. I told my mum and she didn't allow me to go without a costume. So I chose the 11th Doctor's outfit. We picked the outfit together. She surprised me when I was also provided a pocket watch. This was a part of the show when the Doctor was trying to hide his identity from the monsters that he was fighting at the current time. And um, this showed that my mum was paying attention to the small details as well as the big ones. Since she's not a fan of the show, she was very dedicated towards me. I went to the college and was stunned, um, and my peers were stunned because no one else came with a costume. When I was at the convention, I decided to give my mum a Hunger Games pocket watch, which was to show my th- thankfulness for what she gave to me, and she loves it. So that's why the pocket watch is held close to my heart. The items I treasure the most are the DVDs that I create at Film Club because. It helped me as a filmmaker, or inspired me as a filmmaker, to create my own films and have my own ideas of what stories I wanted to tell. And one of my favourite films is a documentary called Story of Communication. Because it was one of the most, even though it's one of the most challenging films, I did enjoy it because we put all the effort as a team to make this documentary. It's the first film that I ever shown my family. Because I decided to invite them to the screen and to see the film. And they really loved it. And I felt thrilled that they liked the film. They loved the film and they would like to see it again. And, yeah. Hello, people. It's Lissai here. Right, so this video is about Arsenal, right? I love Arsenal because it's my favourite team. And after playing tonight, I want to watch it. Gonna be interesting. One one time, um, I went I went to the Arsenal stadium. Saw I saw the bitter out. I thought it was amazing. Um, I went I went with my dad. We went we went went on a little call. This is when I was like 13, 13 years old. And I'm sixteen now. Yeah, I went to I went to the changing room. Matted. Massive, massive shower, massive stadium, massive bar. I went to the changing room. It was amazing. The one thing I like about Arsenal is it's always passion, right? And I love it. I love Arsenal. Arsenal is my favourite team. I love them. Hi all. Um, I'm just going to um, talk about um, what uh, laptop MacBook means to me. So the college gave me some money um, for me to buy the laptop and I've also saved um, up as well since the beginning of the year. So I've used you know that saving money along with the uh, you know the money award that the college gave to me to buy the uh, laptop which was a great news for me. What it means to me is that I'm able to do things much more um, quicker than um, when I just had my phone. So what I'm able to do with the laptop now is that I'm able to download Adobe for a start. Um, the Adobe was um, was for free, so the college made it for free. So, I'll, so I'm able to download um, many Adobe softwares that um, I was told that it was for free from the college. Um, I was also able to do the work as well, um, which I've submitted everything for all three of my subjects in college. And I'm also able to download more things, um, more things on the laptop. Um, um, if my phone was full storage, so that I have my laptop as my backup, um, which is also um, great. Without the laptop, then especially, you know, during the time um, I've had on the online, then things will be tricky, but it wouldn't be impossible because I had to just use the computer, which was extremely slow. 
and um, things was just moving around a lot so I wouldn't say it would be impossible for me to do everything that I need to do but it would take much more longer for me to do what I need to actually um, sort out and video calls would be much more difficult with the computer that was extremely slow, slow. so um, I think that's how it would be if I didn't buy the laptop that I had right now. The book is really important to me so I can understand what the women went through in life and how they became successful. Where I keep it is I put it in my bookshelf so when I'm bored or I just want something to read I stare I can pick it up and read it. It's brilliant to read this book and the book is called Slay in Your Lane, Woman, Black Woman's Bible. I think it's kind of like to do with like trying to help us through what we've been through in our life, but also like understanding it in a way if you read the book, it will kind of help you through your life, I gotta say. And I think it's a brilliant book to read. And you got to see different types of women in a book with all their names in it. And there's pictures to prove it as well. So, yeah.